Hi, we're here at East Kirkby, uh, the bomber base uh, where Jane hangs out and we have a new wonderful airplane here at the collection, Tony Agar's Mosquito and I, Tony and I go back a long way. A long way. Yeah. A long way. And uh, Tony has spliced together three or four Mosquito airframes to make this beautiful mozzie and uh, Tony you're you're busy doing the um, uh, radiators. The, the radiators right now, yeah. which goes right up in there. That's the radiators on both sides for the Merlin. And uh, Tony, uh, tell us about the Canadian wood that's in the Mozzie. Uh, that's the one, yeah, when, in 1991. You, you, you acquired that for us. And that was quite, um, quite useful uh, addition. So that was the wood without knot holes, and what do you call it, that? It was clear. Yeah. Clear, tight, spru tight grain spruce. Sitka spruce. Sitka spruce. Yeah. And Douglas fir. Right. Yeah. So the best Canadian woods are in Tony's masterpiece. Yes. And so, Tony, uh, uh, you're working on the radiators now. Just bring them, bring them back together, yes. Okay. And on the Merlins, one Merlin is just about ready to go. Yes. And what about the other Merlin? You found something. Yeah, so there's some, need some new bearings in the uh, reduction gear. On the front. On the front. Where end. the prop shaft That's is correct, in that yes. area. That's right. Yep, yep. And how do you like it in your new digs here in East Kirkby? Uh, uh, it, it compares it, better than the old home? Yes, it does. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's Much good. Much better. Yeah, yes. good. No. Well, we're pleased to be here with you, and uh, we're going to take a bunch of shots of the Mozzie and uh, right. show them your handiwork of 25-plus uh, years. Um, yes, <laughs> more than that. Yes, more than that. Yeah. I know, I know, but it's great to be with you, my friend. Thank you. Okay. Because you've, you've helped a lot. Well. A all tremendous we're, amount. All we're doing, Tony, is uh, feeding you the lines, yeah. and you run the show. That's right. Okay, good. And you did a lot of good work. <laughs> well, bless you. Okay, thanks Thank a lot. You. One question. Okay, Tony, if you had to describe the de Havilland mosquito in World War II, how would you describe it? It's an unusual beast, but it did a wonderful job. Can you tell us about that? Well, it's such a vast history in more ways than one, in the construction and everything else, and its operational history. And it changed the... The aviation was changed through it, as regards multi-role. Because hmm. multi-role now is, is right till today. So it was a for, forerunner of all that. Right, the forerunner being bomber, fighter, night, night fighter, fighter reconnaissance, yes. uh, a, sup, a super versatile aircraft. That's right. And this is the one that started it all. Yeah, this is a night fighter version. This is a night fighter, yes. Yeah, yeah. And well, that's great. Uh, this is going to be a wonderful machine to see. We're in the new home. And just uh, give me a, an idea, time frame, of when do you think you can run your Merlins? Uh, well, we'd like to keep that a bit quiet. Okay. So <laughs> but we'll, let's hope, hopefully it's as soon as, as, as we can. Because it's been a, a long struggle moving it. And we're just starting to get back into it. Right. Because there's a distance now between York and here. Right, yeah. So a lot of commuting for Tony. That's right. Yeah. So uh, You've got good help here. You've got the best. Oh, yes. Yes. Good. Well, we're looking forward to hanging out with you. So good to see you again. Thank you.